Another long-standing feature request for InDesign has been to be able to have a paragraph span across multiple columns in a multi-column text frame. So if you take a look here in this layout, we see we have this headline that is currently only within the first column of this multi-column text frame. If I turn off my preview mode, you can see when I select this frame, there's actually two columns here in a single text frame. I want that headline to span across both of those columns and have the text below it balance across with the remaining space. In previous versions of InDesign you had to select this headline, cut it into its own text frame, and then rearrange the layout to get this result. Now it's just as simple as setting an attribute called span paragraphs or span columns. I'm going to go ahead and click inside that paragraph and in the control panel there's a new widget here for uh, paragraph spanning. Right now the default is set to none. I'm going to click on the word none and tell this paragraph to span all of the columns that are in this particular text frame. I'll choose span all and you'll see that headline now goes across both columns of text and the rest of the text afterwards just balances real nicely. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that text mode and turn off our preview mode by pressing the letter W and what we want to do is also do something called the new split feature. You see I have this bulleted list here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom up and we're going to go ahead and select this range of paragraphs here and go back up to that span control widget in the control panel where it says currently none and instead of spanning this we're going to have this series of paragraphs split into two paragraphs. And you see it does a nice balance and splits those into two columns even though this is a single column text frame. So there you have it, paragraphs that can either span or split across or within multiple columns in a multi-column text frame.